Kamikaze 2014. Let's check it out. Robbie, yeah. Welcome to Geek Row Radio. I'm Jalan, aka Black Goku, and I'm here with a great cosplayer. Go ahead and tell us who you are. Well, I am cosplaying Squirrel Girl, the most powerful superhero in the Marvel Universe. Now, what made you decide to do Squirrel Girl? I read Great Lakes Avengers, which features Squirrel Girl, and she is one of the funniest characters I have ever seen, and I'm just like, I need to do it. I don't care if she has this ridiculous costume. I need to make this ridiculous costume. Well, keep up the good work. <laughs> Welcome back, it's Jalan, aka Black Goku. I'm here with a very impressive cosplayer. Go ahead and let everybody know who it is that you are. My name's McCready, and I am from the movie The Thing. How did you construct this? I can't take credit for the head. That's something I bought, but I built the legs, I built the gun, I built the... My usual thing is I do scissor hands, like that's like my mainstay, I've been doing it for years, but you know, I've, I'm such a huge fan of the Kurt Russell movie, and uh, one day I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Go through how you guys made your outfits. Um, I sent out the seven dwarfs, horrible creatures. They went to the fashion district. They bought all the material and um, Snow White's silly little birds assembled this for me over like a three weeks time. Well, at least she was useful for something, right? Thanks, Jalan. Now let's check out some more awesome cosplay. Go ahead and tell everybody who you are. I am Raiden from Mortal Kombat X. What are you using for the lights? Because I don't think I've seen any other Raiden <laughs> that's done like lights. I've got uh, LEDs running through the whole costume. Got them on the arms and the eyes. I, I could have sworn yeah. you, like, this <laughs> guy's such a good smile. I thought his smile was glowing. Oh, it's amazing. Just brushed my teeth this morning. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Back you. to you guys. Let's check out all this amazing Marvel and DC cosplay. Now, just explain your costume to us. That's just amazing. Actually, this is just duct tape, silver duct tape wrapped around, and then it's tucked underneath here. And the rest of it is just random pieces painted and then sewn together by my wife. This is just folded duct tape? Yeah, it's just wrapped. Wrapped, wrapped, wrapped all the way up here. Did you have any trouble? I mean, that had to be painstaking. Uh, yeah. A couple times it was like stuck on my arm hair, and I was like pulling out, and I'm like, oh, my arm's stuck, and I was like yelling at the wife and everything. Black Goku again, and I'm here with an extraordinary cosplayer. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, I'm Gabriella. What is it that you are cosplaying? Uh, Vi from League of Legends. Let's take a look at these arms real quick. So, how did you get it all constructed um, with suit included? I guess I started out first with the gauntlets. I started out with just a base of like foam core and uh, craft foam and things like that. Then I kind of got bored of it and moved on to the armor and the clothes. Um, it's a mixture of like craft foam and Wonderflex and different types of stuff. It's definitely amazing. I love the leg guards as well. How long did it take you to construct just the armor itself? The whole costume, like start to finish, took like a span of six months. And the armor, I guess, took about three of the months. Now let's check out some more super cool cosplay. I'm here with a very special friend of mine. He's doing a very special cosplay, which I'm going to let him explain right now. This cosplay here, I created back in 1979. It's King of Croyer of the Micronauts. The last time I wore it was back in 1984, so that was about 30 years ago. Give us a real quick idea of what this is all consisted of. Uh, a lot of this has consisted of cardboard, newspaper. I have up here like an old football helmet from the 1950s, shoulder pads that are about about 50 or 60 years old and some of the plastic on here is from old chain spools that, that you would find in a hardware store and the metal gauntlets 
or actually flower holders. And he wore this when the word cosplay was actually first being coined. We had a great time here at Kamikaze 2014. If you want to check out our radio show, we're on every week on Indie 100 and The Point. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can send us an email to geekworldradio at yahoo.com and be sure to check out our website, geekworldradio.com. Hey, anime. What? Let's go Hulk smash. Tintin and the Mystery of the Infinity Gems. I'm a celebrity, I'm a pumpkin pig with a purple wig, you know, what is up? 